ridiculous. Wow, that was great. I thought the special effects were pretty good, but, well, it wasn't scary enough. You're kidding. How come your teeth were chattering? For the sound effects? <laughs> <laughs> Dear students, your attention, please. I would like you all to give a warm welcome to the director of the film you've just seen, and which we all found very interesting. And here he is now, James Finson, who is honoring us with his presence today to discuss his work in the fascinating field of cinema. Uh, that's right, and I'm also here to look for locations to shoot for my new film. In fact, I heard there is an old factory around here that nobody uses anymore, which I'm very interested in. Uh, a factory? Oh, no, not ours! Thank you, sir. If this Vincent guy finds out about our supercomputer, we're in trouble. And that means we absolutely have to stop him from using it. Yeah, sure we do, but how? Hmm, nothing to worry about. I got an idea. How come every time he says there's nothing to worry about, I get worried? And I mean, worried. Oh, I'm so glad to meet you, Mr. Finson. I just love your films. I'm a big fan of yours. Oh. oh, really? Well, I can't argue with your taste. I like my films, too. What's your name? Um, why don't you just write to Sissy, a rising star who I'm going to give the leading role to in my next film. I think I'm going to write to Sissy, who's got a lot of nerve. And a lot of talent. Well, I'm very sorry, Sissy, but the casting is over. The parts have all been distributed. So, better luck next time, huh? <clears throat> uh, hello, sir. The factory you were talking about, I was wondering uh, if you'd already been there. No, but I'm going to start my scouting later today. Well, you see, I know the place inside out, and uh, I really don't think you could find a better guide. <laughs> it looks like everyone in this school has a lot of nerve. <laughs> Fantastic! It's even better than I thought. Yeah, it looks all right. The trouble is, it's falling apart. Hopefully, the ceiling won't fall on our heads. That's great. I love a dangerous shoot. That's what I always look for. An actor's always better under pressure. Uh, Mr. Finson, you better watch out for your equipment. It's crawling with rats here. Rats? That's lucky. I've got some big scenes to shoot with rats in them. Conclusion, never trust Ulrich when he says there's nothing to worry about. Yeah, he tried to gross him out. Instead, he's even more excited. You're right, it's a great set. Too bad about all that uranium they stored here for so many years and years. Maybe one day it won't be radioactive anymore. Mm -hmm. Do you know where this freight elevator leads to? Oh, that old thing? It stopped working ages ago. Anyway, they say that when it was working, it... Hey, hey, what was that noise? That noise? Oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. Uh, well, there is an old rumor that this factory is haunted by ghosts. But I don't believe a word of that, although... <laughs> this place just keeps getting better and better than I thought. And you seem to know every nook and cranny of it. I know. How would you like to work as a technical advisor on the film? Yes, do it, yes, yes, yes. yes. Are you serious? Of course I am. Yes! Um, well, uh, it would be a great honor, sir. The only problem is that the principal would never let me miss my classes. Let me talk to him. Sissy, your father will never let Ulrich miss even one hour of school. Hmm, we'll see about that. Nothing's gonna stop me from becoming a big movie star. Mm. <sighs> wow, he said no, incredible. I even promised to put his name in the credits. Uh, mm -hmm. Mr. Finson, can I talk to you for a second? I don't believe it. Sissy got a part in Vincent's film. Yeah, in exchange for convincing her dad to let me skip school. Ulrich and Sissy working together on a film. This could be the beginning of a great romance. Yeah, right. She won't leave me alone for one second. Your real job is to be there in the factory making sure that nobody discovers our lab. Come on. It's not going to be as bad as all that. 
Are you sure it's not too heavy? When I think that I'm about to become a big star, and that you, Ulrich, honey, are lucky enough to witness the event live. Huh. Oh, I envy you. I really do. Uh, hello. Mr. Finson is expecting us. Do you have cell phones, by any chance? Uh, cell phones? Uh, oh, why, of course. How could you think we didn't? Confiscated. Mr. Finson's orders. Uh, uh, uh. During the shooting, it's forbidden to communicate with the outside world without Finson's okay. That's so there are no leaks about the script or newspaper gossip. That's also why everyone sleeps here with guards at the entrance. Apart from all that, it's a lot of fun. Yes, but what if we have to get in touch with uh, our parents, for example, in case there's a problem, huh? When you shoot with James Vincent, there's never a problem. Cut off from the rest of the world. That's so incredibly romantic. It's almost like being alone oh, on man. a desert island. Fantastic. I can't wait. Well, it's time for you all to meet the main character of my movie. Prepare yourselves for a big surprise. Oh. Don't be shy. Tell me what you think. It's my best monster yet, right? And to top it all off, I've invented a way to make him squirt slimy, disgusting threads of goo. It'll knock your socks off. You'll see. Funny, but it makes me think of the alien in that film, uh, I can't remember the my name. My creature is unique, young man, and my movie will be like no other ever made. Mr. Finson, I I'm very anxious to get my script, if you don't mind. I'd like to start working on my lines. You see, we professionals are very serious. Oh, why, of course. Just one second, here it comes. There. Thank you. Ah! You got it, kid. You'll be the alien's first victim. 20 seconds on the screen. Yes, but 20 seconds of glory. <laughs> glory, glory, too. <laughs> I think we can shoot that one in no time. Big problem's gonna be the next scene. took my cell phone away. Vincent's totally paranoid. It won't be easy staying in touch with you. Well, well. Ugh. What kind of a weird place is this? Hey, Ulrich, please tell me that that wasn't Sissy's voice I just heard. Uh, Sissy, listen, I can't explain this to you, but uh, you can't tell anyone about this or else. Or else what? A monster's gonna squirt goopy goo all over my face, huh, Ulrich? <laughs> oh. Jeremy, we've got a big problem here. Warren, what's going on? What's that noise? Uh, Follow me, hurry up! Uh, 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 Come on! Uh, 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 Warwick, what is going on? Answer me!
Montana's up to something. A tower's been activated. I'm launching a scan to localize the tower. I'll wake Odd, call Yumi, and we'll be on our way. Who's the moron? Oh, it's you, boss. I'm sorry. <laughs> Not bad, huh? I just composed it for the film. Okay, all you lazy bones, let's go. We got a movie to make. Go get the alien. <gasps> boss. Huh? Better come and take a look. Uh, we've got a little problem here. A little problem, huh? You call this a little problem? Go and find him, you understand? He couldn't have walked out on his own. Go find him. Mr. Finson, the two youngsters have both disappeared. Finson's alien monster! It's come alive! How can a machine made of plastic and rubber come alive? Like... I'm gonna try and find Ulrich and Sissy. We'll stay in contact, okay? Right. Ugh. Alita? Odd's about to make the plunge. How do things look? Pretty bad, you were right, Jeremy. Xana is up to no good again. I've localized the tower, it's in the polar region. two kids who stole the alien? If it was them, they better hope Vincent doesn't find them. Okay, Jeremy, I'm in. Aelita's on her way to the polar region. That's where the scan localized the tower. I'll launch the transfer. Transfer on. Virtualization. Ah. ah, nice little place, but it could use a little heat. The tower plateau is in that direction. Let's go. If we run, it'll warm you up. sure he wanted to use us as bait to attract the others. When you say the others, Ulrich, do you mean that whole gang of yours? But why? Ulrich, sissy. Ah, oh, Yumi. Whatever you do, don't move a muscle. Boy, aren't you funny. Oh, Yumi, I never thought I'd be saying this to you one day, but I'm actually very glad to see you for once. You can kiss some makeup later. We've got to go, or Xana's Come gonna get his there. way. <gasps> and make it snappy. Odd, Aelita, watch out. Xana sent his monsters out. Just behind you, there's a swarm of them armed with lasers. 20 life points per impact. A little battle's bound to keep me warm. Talk about a reception committee. Wow! Laser arrow! Let's keep 
God. Yumi, Yumi, can you hear me? Where are you? Come on, answer me, Yumi, please answer. Tell me right now, what have you done with my alien? Jeremy. You think he's called it quits? <laughs> For once, I have a chance to show how talented I am, and that mechanical monster has to go nuts. And what's more, he decides to pick on me. I don't understand. What did I ever do to that plastic piece of junk to deserve that, huh? Hey, Ulrich, you think you could get her to keep still for a second? Uh. Lita, any sign of that tower yet? Yes, but I may be seeing double. Oh. Jeremy, there are two towers. How can that be? I only saw one on the whole map. Santa must have done that to confuse us. Well, we've got to choose one, and pronto, too. <sighs> Jeremy, well, have you got any news for us? Yumi, what's going on? Answer me, Yumi. Yumi! Yumi! On! I know what you're gonna tell me. Hurry up! Well, for your information, we're not exactly having a tea party here! Uh. Oh. Kick down! You've got to choose one of the towers now. I can't hold them off much longer. Okay. Yeah. Laser arrow! Yahoo! Take that! Oh no, I'm out of arrows. Jeremy. 
enemy. If I happen to choose the wrong tower, it'll be all over, you know that. I have faith in you, Aelita. <laughs> Sorry, I chose the wrong one. No! Wait! <laughs> Return to the past now! idea to use the factory for oh. a movie. Thanks. I must confess that my ideas are, I say this with great modesty, absolutely ingenious here. It makes a great set. Uh, by the way, you do know that a film was shot here once before. You're kidding. No, a science fiction movie with an alien. <laughs> and a fabulous picture, too. No, no, I've given it some thought, and I don't think the factory is a good idea. Besides, it wasn't my idea in the first place. What's that? How dare you accuse me of lying to you? I can find another producer, yes. you know. I am not upset. <laughs> <laughs> 